Hey everybody, welcome to my Suburban Oasis. I have gotten some mail today and I cannot wait to open it and share it with you. I got pretty excited because my pansies and violas are growing on really well and I'll show you those in just a minute because what we're going to be doing is unboxing a couple of, uh, these are cast iron urns and I just love the look of urns. I think they bring a nice or sophistication to any garden area and they remind me so much of um, travels in Europe and it just brings back good memories for me and I think they're so beautiful they give me a great feeling when I look at them planted up with flowers so they're one of the most uh, fun pots that I think that I can buy and cast iron is so durable they are extremely expensive though uh, but I picked these up off of I want to say Wayfair for around $55 a piece so not cheap they are small uh, but they're going to be so perfect i think for these pansies and violas that i've been growing on so for those of you who are new today thank you so much for joining the channel my name's soleil and i garden in a zone 5b in mid michigan and it still kind of feels a lot like winter here i think spring is really on its way um, it definitely is starting to look a little bit greener there's some tips of things poking through the ground and it's exciting to see. So I think in the next couple of weeks, things are really gonna start bursting into life. And I'll probably begin to do some weekly garden tours for you all, just to look around and see what's popping up and what's coming around. All right, without further ado, let's get into this box. So this just arrived and all I did was open up the cardboard. So I haven't actually really opened these. Can't wait to see what they look like. Oh, this is super cute and beautiful. Do you see how nice that is? This is super heavy. <laughs> I mean, this is gonna be incredibly durable. And this is just right for those beautiful pansies and violas, wouldn't you say? My son is going to love this bubble wrap. These are so cute. I have to say though that they are not the exact same size, which is kind of odd. I thought that I bought two of the same size, but that's actually okay with me because I have one that is sitting over here that is not cast iron that is kind of around the same size and will mix as a nice little trio. So for example, I know this isn't planted up and it does look slightly different, but that would look really cute too. And maybe these were supposed to be different sizes. I can't even remember sometimes what I order. Sometimes I just think that it's amazing and cute and I buy it. Do you guys do that too? All right, I've got some potting mix, just some miracle Girl soil. And we have these two really cute little urns. And as you can see, I have brought out some of my primulas. These are just primroses on either side here that were down in my plant room that really needed to get a little bit more sunshine and they're pretty much done blooming at this point. So I'm just hurting them off at this point and I'm gonna get them into the ground really soon so that they continue to come back every year. And then you can see here we have this beautiful terracotta pot with some of the, I think these are the wine Laetta variety of violas. I would have to double check, but these are some violas that I grew from seeds from Baker's Creek. So it's so fun to see some blooms out here. And there's quite a few buds that are um, coming up as well. So I expect to see more flowers soon. So here we have some more of the violas and pansies that I have grown from seed. And you can see some of the little buds are starting to form on these as well. So that's really exciting. And they're kind of starting to run out of room, I think, in these pots. I don't see the roots coming out the bottom yet. Luckily, <clears throat> pansies and violas don't have super huge root systems, but you can see they're kind of yellowing up a little bit. So I wanna get these out. We'll pot up both of these two little urns right here. And then I've got some on my steps that I'll show you that I think they will look beautiful in as well. 
So right here at the entry to my deck, I have two urns standing on the second step up and they match each other pretty well. In the middle of both of them, I have strawberry plants. And so those will grow on in quite a bit as the season progresses. But what I'd like to do is fill in around the edges and put a nice little circle around them for now, just to add some beauty and a little bit of spring touch. You can see right over here as well in my potache garden, I've got my little shrubs that I got from Hertz Garden earlier this year. And then I also have some violas and pansies in pots right here, which are also getting ready to bloom. At this point, I'm not putting them anywhere at night. Uh, it may get down to about 28 degrees and I'm still comfortable with keeping them out overnight that way because it is a fairly protected area and they seem to be doing quite fine with that so far. If it gets down below 26, if I see that on my weather channel, I definitely will put them into my little mini greenhouse and let them kind of huddle up in there and stay warm. Then I'll just take them out in the morning. All right, let's get going on these two little urns. I'm just checking down in these and they definitely have some nice drainage holes so that's great. Not going to fill these up too much because I think we have some pretty good root systems on these plants that are going to take up a bit of space already. It looks like we have some good roots and they are coming out the bottom, but they are not overwhelming to the point where it's root bound or anything. So I'm just gonna kind of smush them down in as best I can. And I don't really actually care if the pansies or violas that I plant in these match. I'm okay with them being different. I do know that all of the seeds that are in each of these containers are the exact same flowers. So I'm not going to have a variety of flowers within each pot, which is what I like. I like having pots that are uh, a single, a single color, if that makes sense. I just think that it's a little more restful on the eye, a little less busy. I wonder if people have a preference about that um, as you're watching this, what do you like? Aren't those cute? This Buddha that I have here with these flowers typically is out in the garden, but I had to bring it in this winter because at the end of the season last year, we got some incredibly strong wind gusts and somehow or other it managed to get knocked over by that wind and it lost its head. And so I had to bring it inside this winter and repair that and reconnect it at the neck. But it looks really amazing. I just used some concrete crack repair and you can hardly um, see it at all. So I think if you're just walking through the garden, you would never know. And unfortunately, the place that I got this from was at an art fair vendor, and I don't see them around anymore. So I don't know how I would ever replace it. And it's one of my favorite pieces. So super happy that it repaired well. All right, let's go plant the other urns on the stairs. In this pot, some of 
the soil has sunk in a bit. So I think what we'll just do here is add a little bit of soil on top, on the outside, as needed. We'll pull these extra plant tags out and save those. I'll take those inside, keep using those. And let's see here. We have some morning dew violas here. And pretty soon it won't even matter what kind of violas we have because they will all be planted out here and we'll be able to enjoy them. And because these are larger pots, if I end up with different kinds of violas in them, I'm okay. It's just those smaller pots that I really don't want to mix them up too much because again, if I do, I just feel like it makes it look a little bit too busy. There's definitely a lot of stuff in these pots that needs to be cleaned out. I'm just gonna do a quick tidy today, nothing extreme. I do need to cut some of the sedum back and that will help to give it a little bit more room to grow because the sedum does like to be cut back every year. And I will not be watering any of these in because it has rained recently. These pots have very moist soil already, but um, it also is going to be raining pretty much all day tomorrow. So this is a really great time to be planting these. And I think I'm gonna put one over here. I don't want to mess too much with the sedum because the sedum will fill in um, as it gets warmer. So I'm really not filling up these pots. And if you fill things up too much right now, you could end up with, you know, overcrowding, requiring lots and lots of watering and fertilization and that kind of thing. And this just puts less strain on the plants in the pot to have a few less. And I think it's nice and simple as well. So you probably can't even hardly see this little strawberry that's in the middle, but it is there. All right, that looks nice. I guess I didn't even really need the extra soil after I started digging out. All right, let's do a different color in this one. Let's try some of the blue pansies in this one. way won't be too matchy matchy or these are actually violas as well viola blue perfection I think this one is called and for me pansies and violas are great during cold weather and then when it warms up and it gets sunnier what I do is instead of getting rid of them because I am in a cooler zone, I actually take them and move them into a semi shade area. And what that does is it gives them just enough of a break from the sun and the stress of summer and the heat of summer to stay cool enough to keep looking good throughout the summer. So just a little tip for those of you guys who typically treat them as annuals and maybe or don't plant them because you feel like it's too short of a season to bother. Um, that's just something that I've learned over the years and hopefully that's helpful to you as well. All right, and we'll do one more, I think over on this side. Probably should have gotten out my digger, like my hori hori or something like that. Because this, this soil is definitely pretty heavy in here. It's kind of the way it is in spring. Um, I haven't had much luck because of that, 
with overwintering bulbs in pots. I love, love, love the look of, you know, tulips and daffodils and hyacinths and crocuses and things like that coming up in the spring when, um, you know, nothing else is really blooming and being in pots, but man, I just, I would have to keep them under the eaves during the winter and then I would have to make sure that they had just enough water, but not too much and it would be a real thing. So I prefer things that are slightly simpler on this, that side um, because I do have a full-time job and a kiddo and a husband and all of that stuff keeps me busy in addition to gardening. All right, we do have two other urns on the other side of the deck, so we'll fill those up too because we have plenty. All right, I don't know how well you can see this, but there is a small plant in here and there's a stick in here that I stuck in. This is actually a little cherry branch. Uh, I thought I would see if it rooted or if it bloomed, you know, kind of trying to force it in here. I haven't seen anything happen on it yet, but you know, it was such a pretty little branch and it has all these buds on it and it was broken and on the ground. So I thought, why not try? Um, and this in the middle right here uh, that some of the brown stuff is breaking up on, this is salvia. And it's a perennial salvia. I'm surprised that it has overwintered here for two years now. And I'm just, I'm keeping it because I think it's pretty and I might move it someplace else instead. But um, I really, I think it's fine. It, it's not really doing a ton because it does only bloom a couple of times. It does rebloom, but because it's a perennial, it's not as effective at, you know, providing color throughout the entire summer, but it's a pretty good one. So I just leave it. I don't know about you guys, but every once in a while I get a random seed that grows in with those things that I'm actually trying to grow. I'm not actually sure what this one is. So I'm going to get rid of it. It might be arugula. I'm not sure. I didn't plant any arugula. It just, it's something that grew in the pot. And I use these seedling trays and pots every single year. So it's quite possible that it's something that just was in there because seeds can last for a really, really long time. And it might have just decided that this was its year to grow instead of last year. This is definitely not rooted in and it's definitely not blooming. So I'm tossing it because it's just in my way. All right, just a little bit more greenery every time we pot up another pot. All right, last one here. And this one actually does look a bit low to me. So we'll see what happens as we go to plant. I'm hoping I can also add some snapdragons to these pots um, kind of in the background because they are a little bit bigger but the snapdragons aren't quite ready to come out of my little cold frame greenhouse yet so that's not going to happen until I can be sure that they're going to be safe and make it through. So we have some shorter pansies or violas in front and on the sides 
and then we'll throw in some of those bigger snapdragons as they harden off and as the weather gets warmer. Right now we're still having temperatures, like I said, in the 20s, which makes it kind of difficult to get some things out. Looks like I'm actually not going to have to add any soil to this one either, so that's nice. Just enough more soil in these plant pots to help even it out. All right, let's take a look at what we've achieved today. I'm pretty excited. Now this may not look like a lot right now, but I'm telling you this is going to be so much better. It already looks a lot cleaner than it did before, and it definitely looks like a lot more spring because we've got those green leaves appearing. And again, I'm not going to water these in or anything because the soil is plenty moist in the pot and it's going to rain tomorrow. Man, does it feel good though after a long week at work to kind of come out and do a little project to make things prettier in the garden. I love the way these all look together also. Just so, so cute. I'll be keeping them all together until, oh, I don't know, until it stops freezing quite so much at night and I can put little Buddha lady out into the rest of the garden and plant those primroses out. And I think these look really cute too. I've kept these over to the left and in the back of both of these pots, but I think it turned out great. And that sedum is just gonna fill in that front area and so will that strawberry over time. So it's not necessary to always pack all your containers at once. This is just a little bit of minimalism that also adds up to maximalism later. And these pots that are back here that kind of look dead actually have some ajuga in them, which I am attempting to winter over. These are hardy down to a zone four, so they look pretty awful, but I do think that they're going to survive and be just fine. And I'll come through and add some more soil in behind them and plant these containers up as well, so that will be really nice. But again, we just have to wait on a little bit uh, of warmer temperatures here, and then things should be a whole lot more exciting in the garden. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys are starting to get a little bit warmer weather and that some of you that are way up north and in super cold places have your snow finally starting to melt. All right, thanks so much again and we'll see you next time.